Okay, we are on to page seven of our pocket. So we got our fourth pocket page here. So get your pocket page, measure, uh, just label this as the top, page seven, waterfall. This is going to be the inside facing the hinge. So what we're going to do with this one, we are going to be creating a landscape, aka horizontal waterfall fall going in this direction. So my inspiration for this came from the Scrap Queen, who has such amazing designs that she does. I love watching her creations, which she does with with images that she, are just beautiful images on the designer paper. See, she uses them to make these waterfalls. So you can just add your half an inch strip to form these, to keep this image intact. So that's what we're going to try to do. I'm going to try to replicate that using this sheet. Okay, I where did I put my piece of, where did I, here it is. We are going to be using this piece of paper to create our image. So this is from the 8x8 collection. And the first thing you're going to do, you're going to get this page out. And then you are going to create, where are all of mine? six of these for our waterfalls. So you're going to cut six pieces at six and a quarter inches wide by four and a five, four and five eighths inches tall. And you're going to score a half an inch on that long side. So, so score it on the top, burnish it real, real well, get a sharp edge up here. And then if you use score tape like me, add your score tape. So get those six pieces made and put aside. Next, with this paper, you're going to start by cutting, you're going to trim three quarters of an eighth. Show you my writing. You're going to trim three fourths of an eighth three-fourths of an inch off of the left side. So this is three-fourths of an inch. We just trimmed it straight down. Make sure I did that properly. Three-fourths of an inch and save this because this is going to be going on the inside right here. And then we're going to be building our waterfall next to it. So keep this piece in a safe place. Next you're going to trim this paper six and three sixteenths. So six, here's one fourth, three sixteenths would be one, two, three. So the tick mark right before the one fourth. I know this is like so precise six and one, two, three sixteenths. It's just the tick mark right before the six and one fourth. So you're gonna cut this paper right at six and three sixteenth. And then you're going to trim that part off. And you're gonna keep this edge also and put that away. So I'm going to go ahead and trim this at six and three sixteenths, and then I will be right back with you. So I cut that paper by six and three sixteenths of an inch. Here's the little piece I trimmed off. So you're going to put this in a safe place. But let's go ahead and put our waterfall in. So you get Get your first half inch strip. Now it has a white core and I'm not really, I don't know, do I want to, I think I'll 
tap down the white core because I don't. Yeah, I'll just tap down that white core. I'm going to put this strip in after I kind of ink it. I'm not going to be inking it too heavy. I'm just going to be inking inside just to tap down that white core. I don't want to ink it heavily. Heavily, just tapping down the core. So you can see how slow I go. That's why I don't show you guys what I do. I'm, I'm like slow and go. It's like painful meditation for me, but I love it. There, that looks good. So I'm going to go ahead and here, adhere that down. Make sure you get it straight because we are going to be building our waterfall off of this, off of this edge. So I'm going to go ahead and adhere my piece down you do the same and then we'll come back and put down our waterfall okay so I got my piece in if you guys need to trim any of this top to bottom just trim it from the bottom side but just have a little bit of reveal on the top and the bottom but always trim from the bottom. So we got our, our little left edge piece in. Now when you build your waterfall, you're going to get your flap. You are going to butt it against that edge. And you can feel that edge. And you are going to start the waterfall at the top. So that's going to be flush. So that's where, that's why it was real important to get this straight because you are building it along this line. So I'm going to be placing my waterfall um, and then I will be doing a couple and then I'll come back and show you midway how I'm doing. You've, d you've all made waterfalls I'm sure so it's just the regular old way of doing it. But l I'll get this in and then I'll be right back. So I got the waterfall in. That was actually easy just because butting it up against this edge just made it easier to apply. I was happy with that. Just make sure after you get them all in that you've burnished every single one of these edges real, real well. You want them to sit as flat as possible. Okay, so that's it. So now we have this strip. First thing you're going to do is you're going to line this paper up since you can't see it to this one so you get you know where to start it and you're going to go down to you have just a little bit 16th inch of a reveal just a tiny bit tiny tiny reveal and that is almost four inches so I'm going to cut this at around four inches probably at four inches and then after that you just start cutting one, two, three, four, five more strips of a half an inch. So cut that first one and come back and we'll put that down. Okay, you do that too and then we'll both have it down and then we'll see where we go from there. So I have my first um, flap in my first picture in so I think this was actually four inches yeah about four inches 
And then I w after that, it's easy. You just cut half inch strips. I haven't affixed these yet, but half inch strip. After that's all done, you're going to put this side piece in. Now this one, you're definitely going to have to trim a little bit off the side, but not much, maybe a fourth of an inch, quarter of an inch, eighth of an inch, I can't really tell, but not much, just a, you'll figure it out once we, you get there. But for now, just go ahead and cut this first piece out and then do your half inch strips. I did lightly ink just the edges to get um, tap out that white. So I'm going to tap out the white with my Distress ink on all these and then affix them down. And then we will almost be done with this waterfall. Okay, so we got our waterfall in. Originally, we were going to do one, two, oops, this gets stuck, two, three, four, five, six total. Um, but I needed to do one more because these little tushies did not need to be remaining with the bottom paper. So I got their little tushies and made one more. So we got seven total, seven total. So I will make note of that to cut seven. That's one, two, three, four, five. Oh my gosh. I can't count. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six half inch strips. So one, two, three, four, five, six half inch strips plus our original page. And then you have this um, little strip left at the end. Don't attach it yet because we're probably, well, we are. We're going to add a little flap under here. So keep this somewhere safe. You'll, you will need that. Now for the closure. Okay, so we're working on the closure for our little waterfall. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven flaps. So now with our closure, what I decided is we're going to be using a piece. This is the size I'm going to be using one and three quarters inches wide and mine measures six and five eighths inches long and we're going to score it at half an inch and this is regular 65 pound cardstock then you're going to get your green solid green and you're just going to fit it all the way flush to the flush to the top and then just cut cut it so you just have a little black reveal at the bottom and then we're going to affix this midline. I put my, my midline little tick marks, put my midline little tick mark here so I can line it up straight. So it's going to go straight up like that. Put this on. And then I was trying out so many different closures. I was using little round circle, bigger round circles, which are which are okay if, if you did not make this originally and you don't like it or you don't want to use it, you can use one of these circles. They also have pictures on the back, but obviously the, that's way too busy with this pattern. So that would be okay also. If you just want to go with that, that would be that would be fine too. But I then I thought, what about this? I made this early on and we didn't use it because it looked too flashy. I love it right here. So the this strip is centered with the happy holidays, which is a chip, which is a chipboard element. And then we have our two stamps on either side from the 8x8 collection. 
and then I'm going to center put this um, with the roof line the white part of the roof line so it's going to be about right there like that I thought that looked beautiful and then once we get this attached then we're going to add our magnets to the back of this so I'm going to get all this attached put some magnets back behind here and then I'll be right back so we have our strap attached isn't that just so pretty oh my goodness I just love that so pretty so now we're going to bring this down and we have our two small magnets basic gray or every any type that you have make sure that you put down if this is a positive this is going to be a positive just make sure they're the same I guess it doesn't really matter but um, I'm going to put my magnets down right here get my tape So we got our magnets now we're going to find their counterpart now we're going to put the magnets under um, I wanted to put them under here but um, I'll transfer them to here I think that would probably be okay then I could retransfer them to here oh my gosh oh the thing me and magnets so I'm going to Go ahead and just do a simple transfer i think they'll they'll stick fine under there so let's do a regular old transfer get my other two magnets do you guys have as much problems with magnets as me or is it just me magnets and me do not go together Let's see, do I have the oops, you can't see can't see anything. Get the counterpart there, counterpart there. I've already messed up that piece of tape. So put this magnet under there. This magnet under here and then bring this up and find where they go over here come on transfer 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 got one come on tra trans <gasps> transfer can't even get them to transfer there okay let's just see how does that work so I think that will be fine that's good so now now what I'm going to do with this end I want this to be real stable I'm going to add a piece that's the exact same width and length and I'm going to round my corners and you can't see and it's going to be out of 110 pound cardstock I want to put that on the back here to cover up those and just make that strong I think this is still going to be strong enough yeah still good good and I'll add some designer paper on the back so I'm going to go ahead and reinforce this back part and then um, come in with some designer paper also okay so I have this covered 
this end piece covered. Um, good, still have a good snap there. I know we're going to have a photo here and a photo here. I may end up transferring these two up here. It wouldn't be that hard. Just put a little bit of um, ink on top of here, push it down, and that will tell me where I need to place them. So probably going to be doing that because I want to make sure my magnets always hold. Should have put them under here, but I didn't. Bum. But there's always work around with magnets. <laughs> always work around. But I wanted to keep this page flat and it looks so nice. So I, I will probably just transfer these up to here and everything will be great. So th the last thing to do is to put our end piece back down here, oops, which I will do and figure out the color of cardstock to put down here. The options are going to be gold, which I think is too much gold, um, red, which would work, or the green. So those are your options and it, you can just pick the one that you have big enough scraps for too. And I like this little, I think this is from the 12 by 12 cut aparts. I just think joy to the world down here looks darling and it doesn't interfere with our magnets on either side here. So I might put that down, but that's that's at the end when we're doing all our fun stuff with the decorations. So basically this page is complete. I think it's so cute. What do you guys think? Anyway, it's on to pay our last page, which is going to be page eight. So see you on page eight.